country ventured to the States to record the latest album. Kurt Ballou, yeah. about the city. Uh, well, first of all, I mean, he is uh, a really, you know, producer that really brings out the best of bands. That's what I've always, always thought. And he also has a more organic live sound to it that we were kind of after with this album. Um, but first and foremost, is that he was just a good friend that really wanted to do the album with us. And, uh, he helped out so much in making it happen. So. Yeah, so we were really looking for someone that was dedicated 100% or 110% into doing this. That was very important for us. And also to have someone that actually is to say yes or no or a bit hard to us of ideas. No, not, not just a yes to say, you know what I'm saying? Compromise that needed to be done was to put it down and for the, for the best of the album, for the best of every song. Yeah, I mean, we trust, we trust him, that's why we went there. Yeah, I mean, Salem is our. <laughs> Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's a pretty small town. Really nice people there, we have lots of friends, so it was good to hang out with people you like every day. And, you know, stayed at one hotel room, five people. But I mean, that kept us all tied together. I think that was part of the process. Yeah, also recording it. Isolating yourself from, from your normal life. Yeah. I just spoke on the phone. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, yeah. Uh, did you guys t touch base at all with the uh, you know um, history of witchcraft and witch burning that Salem is associated with? I mean, you cannot really miss it if you're there. But like, we didn't really go on any tours or anything like that. You know, I mean, you know, we, we, you know the old houses, shit like that. You know, we trying to get her open. We saw those uh, cruises around the town. Oh yeah, yeah, where people like, you know, they were dressed up and go around and show people yeah. things. I mean, for us, being from Europe, that like, oh, yeah, this town is historic. It's almost 200 years or something. So, come on, and, you know. Have you ever been to the Colosseum that's 2,000 years old? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's, I'm American. <laughs> We wouldn't like going here, we should definitely not go. No, no, no. There's a reason why we are here. Yeah, that was just a joke. I mean, we, we really feel at home here, you know what I'm saying? That's why we, we come, keep coming back. I mean, we play we at least three times hit the US or Canada, like my this uh, on this record. We start to build up a, a thing here, you know, like, we have all the back line and stuff, we have store it here for a long tour and stuff, so I think. We were trying to do the best of it. We have a good time over here. It's quite long drives compared to what you can do in Europe. As long as you know what, you know, you're, we have done this a couple of times, so we know what it's all about. As long as you know that, it's not the problem to us. I mean, I mean, we sold out Toronto last night. We sold out Montreal twice today. I mean, that, I mean why won't we go here, you know what I'm saying? We'll keep coming. The heavy music has become kind of decontextualized from true rebellion. Yeah. What do you find about that? How do you keep this, you know, fighting spirit? There's no real, I mean, if you're going to sing about something, if you notice that people are actually listening, they buy the records and stuff, come to the shows, you might say something that means something, you know, that has, has it's a point. You know? And I, um, I'm just, you know, I study a lot and I'm, I'm really believing in a social change, you know, that's inevitable. And, uh, I, you know, the last album we did was pretty, pretty, like, lyric-wise, bleak and dismal and hateful, whereas this one is more like, this is all the shit that's going on, but we can do something about it. Kind of it's more inspirational, I think. So it's actually almost a positive album in that sense. So it makes me kind of like happy to to give that to the people, you know. Maybe inspire someone that's like live in a storm, that's what it means, you know. Resist. Capture the vibe. Um, what kind of stuff do you study? I mean, what are you into these days? What are you studying during the making of the record? Lyric writing, for example. Oh, well, I'm studying in a uh, university to become a high school teacher. That's what I'm doing right now. But it's social studies, like politics, history, geographics. Religion, stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, otherwise, like sociology and philosophy, I read a lot of like 
the early Marxist stuff, like uh, the Italian Marxist stuff. Like so I'm really into like the socialism and uh, different theories around that. So do you think it's possible? I mean, I, there's no really other way. I mean, it's, it's either that or, you know, you know the other solution is just kind of like, no, I feel really, you don't want that. You no. have faith, you have faith. Leo, the new album is more of a hardcore production. The sound is less intrusive. Yeah. Now, is it deliberate or is that... It's actually something we tried to get already on the top of generation. They're like the more audible guitar playing, you know. Uh, we ended up with a with a wall of guitars. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, when we start, yeah, to make guitars. I mean, we start to track different guitar sounds and try it out. And <laughs> just, yes, bro. Really wanted to catch all the stuff that is going on, but we just couldn't find the, the perfect mix of the guitar sound because you also want to have the wall Problems, you know, like, you know, 